Hey everyone out there, I'm Hoop Smiles, and in this video today, I wanna to show you some of the most common mistakes that I see beginner hula hoopers make when they first start learning how to hula hoop. Now, to this point in my hoop journey, I have probably taught uh, thousands of people how to hula hoop, so I've seen a lot of beginner hula hoopers out there make a lot of these mistakes. So even if you don't know how to hula hoop around the waist, we're gonna be looking at uh, you know ways to improve your waist hooping skills better. So the way that this video is gonna work is I'm gonna look at eight common mistakes. I'm to start out with number eight first and then go all the way to number one. One, in my opinion, is probably the most critical, most important uh, mistake that you definitely want to fix if you're in that problem. But let's go ahead and get started with number eight first. Starting out with mistake number eight, sometimes when I see people who loop for the first time, they'll take their hoops, they grab their hoops, and they're ready to spin, and then they do this, and then the hoop just falls down. So number eight, the eighth mistake is uh, not con uh, making contact with your back, okay? So a tip here is you really wanna take your hoop and have it kind of firmly touch against your back like this. And you wanna grab your hoop and this is really going to help you be able to hula hoop and uh, spin that hoop around your waist. So number eight is not making contact with your back uh, before you spin the hoop and that's what happens. So now we're on to mistake number seven. So I see a lot of beginners out there do this. This is very common. They grab their hoops and then this is when it goes wrong is when they spin their hoop. They do something like that. Now I'm not sure if you just saw what I did in the camera there, but basically the mistake here is they spin the hoop at a diagonal angle. And that's what I did. So I'll, I'll repeat that mistake. So that's a diagonal angle right there. And see how that hoop just kind of went down. So the tip here is when you spin your hoop, this is so critical. When you wind your hoop up, you want to spin your hoop parallel with the ground. Okay, so you want to get a really big first spin that goes horizontal around your body. You want to avoid the mistake of spinning the hoop diagonal like that. Okay, so really make sure that when you spin that hoop, that it's horizontal and parallel with the ground. So now we're on to mistake number six. This is something that I see some beginners do out there is they'll take their hoops and they won't uh, position the hoop on the correct part of their body. Like for instance, they might you know, put their hoop a little bit too low or they put the hoop a little bit too high and then they try to spin it and they're not as successful. So that leads me into the question, where should a person position the hoop uh, when they spin the hoop around their body to give them the highest success rate? And my recommendation is uh, basically you wanna put that hoop kind of on the, the, the upper part of your lower back. I know that sounds like an oxymoron. So about right here is what I would recommend. And then, you know, wind that hoop up and spin the hoop around. So one way to look at that is basically if you imagine where your belly button is on the front of your body, imagine your belly button is on your back. You know, that's kind of the point where you want to uh, put your hoop and then spin it around your body. So here's the thing about positioning the hoop on your back is that it may vary for different people what, what works for you. I do recommend that you try to start your hoop at different areas on your back just to explore, to see what you like. So maybe try a little higher. Also maybe try a little bit lower as well. So give it a spin. Also too, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, you wanna make sure that that first spin is really big. You know, I see that some people make that as a mistake. I didn't actually put that as one of the mistakes in this video, but you wanna make sure that you give yourself a really big first spin. So now we are on to mistake number five. Now I will say, if you make this mistake, it's not the most critical mistakes and you may still be able to hula hoop just fine uh, without making this correction. But I wanted to throw it in the video because I do see some people do this sometimes. So when I first teach people how to hula hoop, if they've never hula hoop before, usually the technique that I tell them to do, because there is multiple techniques that you can do, is what I'll do is I'll tell them to put one foot in front of them and sort of do the rocking back Back and forth maneuvered like this. Okay, so put one foot in front of them, you know, standing up straight, you know, rock from your core and then rocking back and forth. Okay, but see the, the problem that I saw or the mistake that I see some people do is they'll take their, their, their back foot and their back 
foot, their toes are pointed way over here or, you know, pointed in some weird direction. I actually recommend that you point, point your toes in front of you. So straight forward. So wherever you are stepping forward, I recommend pointing your feet in the same direction. Okay. Cause I feel like in this position, when you point your feet in the same direction, I feel like it kind of allows you to have a little bit more room, rocking room on those toes, you know, to be able to move. Now I will acknowledge this may not be the most critical tip out there. As you can see, currently I have my toe, my back toe pointed this way, and then my body is uh, more or less pointed this way, and I'm still able to hula hoop. But especially for the beginners out there, I do recommend that you give this a try. Really try to point your feet forward and become mindful just in general of what your feet are doing and how they're positioned when you are hula hooping. So whether you're standing in the uh, one foot forward stance, also the shoulder shoulder width stance. What are your feet doing in this stance as well? Or if your feet are together. Okay. So I do recommend that you become mindful of how you're positioning your feet. So we're now on to mistake number four. And this mistake is definitely a critical mistake that I see some people make. So you definitely want to listen to uh, the words that I'm about to tell you. So sometimes when I see some beginners, you know, they may do all the previous steps correctly. They grab their hoop, you know, they may even put it on their back in the right spot. You know, they may step forward and then also, you know, maybe even give it a nice spin, okay? But then this is what may happen next. So let me show you before I even tell you what the mistake is. So let's see if you can catch what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a spin and then they do this. Now, what did I just do there, okay? So let's actually go over that. So I'm gonna do that again. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to rock back and forth from my upper body. See, my upper body is kind of just flailing. And that's when a lot of beginner hoopers, you see them kind of flailing their bodies. It's like they sometimes want to try to spin the hoop using their, their chest and shoulders, okay? But actually, what I do recommend that you do is don't do that, okay? You want to more or less really focus spinning the hoop from your core, isolate your shoulders and your chest. You don't need to move your shoulders and chest to keep the hoop going. But when I start doing that, I feel like the natural progression of the hoop is that the hoop just wants to fall down. So I avoid, or so I recommend that you avoid moving your chest and shoulders to help keep the hoop up. Now we are on to mistake number three. Now mistake number three uh, goes hand in hand with mistake number four. Basically the mistake here is people not hula hooping from their core, okay? So you really wanna use your, 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 your core part of your body to hula hoop around your waist. So one of the things I recommend focusing on here is really flexing your abs. Really flex those abs as hard as you can, just go, just flex, flex, flex those abs, you know, to get that hoop going around your body and that's really gonna help okay and then as you get better it really only takes just slight movements of your body to keep the hoop up because when you first start you know a lot of people kind of look like this and they're kind of like I said in the last one flailing their body but really there's a lot of body isolation okay you know isolating the shoulders you know in the chest like I said in the last one you don't have to do these all these huge movements but really focus a lot of your movement from your core and uh, really flexing those abs ab muscles also another important tip when you hula hoop is you really want to make sure that your body is standing up straight you know try to avoid slouching forward and so forth all right, so we're now on to mistake number two, almost to the end here. Now in this mistake, to a lot of you out there, this may seem like an obvious thing, but believe it or not, when I teach people how to hula hoop, sometimes I see this. So I'm gonna show you first uh, before I tell you what it is. So if I do the correct uh, pre-hooping steps, put the hoop on my back, I even give it a nice spin, and then watch, this happens. Okay, so what did I do there? Basically, I just froze. I didn't even move my body. So mistake number two is you got to move your body. You got to move your body. You got to move your body. So that's mistake number two that sometimes people will make is they don't move their bodies. Okay. So that leads into the question, well, what is the correct way to move your body? You know, that's kind of, a, kind of an interesting question because as you get better as a hula hooper, you know, watch, I mean, I can do all this stuff and kind of move around, you know, so how I'm moving my body, you know, I'm moving it all over the place. But for the beginners out there, you know, I do recommend that you start in that rocking back and forth stance. So let's go ahead and position ourselves in that rocking back and forth stance, pointing our feet forward like this. 
Um, I do recommend that you rock from your core. Okay, so rock from your core to maintain that hoop. Now, for the beginners out there, you know, obviously when you see me hula hoop, it may look like I'm barely even moving my body, okay? But I'm just doing little slight movements to keep that hoop up. Now, to the very beginners out there, you may have to work a little bit harder, and that's okay. So you may have to over-exaggerate that rocking back and forth movement, really flex those abs, like I said, really focus from your core. That's where you're going to be contacting the hoop. So there you have it, mistake number two, not moving your body to help keep the hoop up. But let's go on to mistake number one. Mistake number Number one, dun, 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 dun. Yes, we've now made it to the number one mistake on my list. Basically, this mistake is choosing the wrong size of hula hoop. So when I go to events, this is something that I see happen a lot, is I'll put hoops out of varying sizes on the ground. And then if I see adults come up and try the hoops, uh, some of the adults will just, you know, choose hoops that are just really, really small. And really the smaller hoops, if you're gonna try them on your waist, can be really, really challenging and more for the advanced hoopers out there. And when you first start, I do recommend that you use a much larger hoop size. So let me give you a little demonstration here. I have this really, really small hoop. Check out how, how small this hoop is. If I was to spin this hoop around my waist, so let me go ahead and do this. So this is gonna look kind of silly. All right, look at that thing. That thing is going so, 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 so fast. So fast, okay? That's a pretty, pretty challenging hoop. But let me show you a bigger hoop. So I used uh, you know, a hoop this size in the video, but I'm even gonna make it bigger because this is a special hoop that I can take apart. And I'm gonna actually make it bigger to show you what it looks like spinning a larger hoop compared to that really small hoop that spun really fast. So if I now spin this hoop around my body, look how slow this hoop is going. So the lesson here is the bigger the hoop is, the slower it spins around your body versus those small hoops, they spin really, really fast. So when you first start learning how to hula hoop, bigger hoops can be easier around your body versus using small hoops, super challenging. So mistake number one is simply choosing the wrong hoop size. And if you're interested in watching more videos from me that teach you how to hula hoop around the waist, teach you how to hula hoop different tricks and things like that, you wanna become a better hula hooper, I have a bunch of hula hoop videos on my channel. So I do recommend that you check out some of those videos and subscribe. So thank you everybody out there for watching. Until next time.